Yeah, I was really fortunate. I was at home in Brisbane with my parent parents. Um, so we got an email and as soon as the email popped up, I told them and we had a cute little group hug and then I just cried. <laughs> yeah, it was an amazing moment that I'll cherish forever. So just expanding on that, you're in Brisbane, obviously missed out on yeah as I said it's been a crazy week um, two massive dreams have come true this week um, but no I yes yeah, so I found out in Brisbane I missed the city game which I was not happy about but it's because of a bigger thing so no it was great um it came about before christmas and san diego first reached out to me and then i spoke to casey sony the head coach and she was amazing she's obviously one of the best women's coaches in in the world right now um so yeah and then it happened very quickly i decided very quickly i wanted to go and yeah here we are this week signed for one of the biggest clubs in america but also the world and one of my dreams come true with the Matildas, so yeah. When you were with your parents in Brisbane, did you have any idea that the, that the email might be coming? I had a little bit of an idea because I think they have to let you know in two weeks and I got the extended squad. Um, I had no idea I would actually make it. I thought I'm getting an email either way, but thank God it was the, the making it one. Um, but no, I, I didn't expect it at all and I'm super proud. Yeah, Melbourne City have been incredible. I wouldn't be where I am without them. Um, they're, in my opinion, the best club in the league um, in Australia. They've looked after me a lot, um, especially the head coach Dario and our SNC Andy Barnett. Um, they have worked with me individually over the in season and off season, and I worked so hard over the off season to build strength in my body, more speed. Um, so yeah, I would not be where I am without City and I wouldn't have got these two massive milestones in my life. Obviously long time viewers of the LA Women's know how good you are and <laughs> you've been a, a long time performer there, but what has changed do you think over the last 12 months to put you in this position now? Yeah, I think like I said before in the off season I, I decided to stay here in Melbourne. I could have gone back to Brisbane, be with family or I could have gone play in the Sydney NPL which I did a couple of years ago um, but I decided no I want to stay in Melbourne I want to stay with City in the off season work for free basically um, and I just I built my body up I it was in every day long hours um, probably more than what we spend in the on season I didn't really have a break I, I just spent time focusing on things that I really wanted to work on um, and focusing on things that I thought I needed to improve my game. I took advice off um, Dario from the last season. I took advice off some of the Matilda staff, Mel Andrietta, of what things I need to work on. Um, and then I basically spent all off season, four months doing it and working probably harder than I've ever worked in my life. And it's carried over into the season. I've had the confidence this season because I, I felt that I prepared better than anyone else probably in Australia. Yeah, it's been great. I think we needed it a long time ago. Um, and now that we have it, it's it's been incredible. I think we just needed to bridge the gap between the under 20s um, and then the Matilda squad. I was in the under 20s for a while and then there's so, so many great players have been in the under 20s, but then you kind of get lost for a bit if you're not playing in A-League or if you're not um, performing as well, you don't get the opportunity to come up to the Matilda. So that, you know, gives, um, us an opportunity to show what we've got in front of coaches like Mel Andrietta and obviously she has a big say in um, the Matildas and hopefully Tony watched some of the stuff from the 23s and I don't think I would have got this call up if I didn't perform there so yeah. So going back to that end of your cell move, <laughs> how important do you think that move is going to be for your career development and then also potentially finding a long term spot in the I think it'll be so important. It's a move that I wanted most because I thought that it would push me the most. I could easily stay here in A-League. I'm loving it. Melbourne City are a great club, but I wanted to push myself um, into a 
possibly a better league, um, number two league in the world. And I wanted to work under a coach like Casey Stoney and hopefully it puts my name about, out there a bit more with Matildas or hopefully gives them a bit more trust that if I can perform in that league, I can perform under them. So I think it's a massive move and it, it is a career changing move and I'm so excited to get started, hopefully go as soon as um, the Matildas finishes here. You'll be playing alongside Emily Van Engelen at the way, but being given the opportunity to come into national team camp now and play alongside so many world class athletes, are you excited for the learnings that are going to come with that? Yeah, I'm so excited. I think it'll be an amazing experience. There's the likes of Alex Morgan um, in the San Diego way, but in the Matildas there's everyone I could name all of them and I'm so excited to learn off it and take that experience with both hands and um, build build as a player with with that experience so yeah I'm I'm very excited and I know quite a few of the players there but I haven't seen them for a while so I'm excited for that part of it too but yeah I just I just want to get in there and get stuck in Um, it is a dream. I'm just. I feel privileged now just to be going. Um, but to get on the field would be another dream come true. Um, it's. It's. I've been thinking about it my whole life, and I've been dreaming about it, and I've been picturing it, and finally it could be coming. I've. I don't expect to get it, but I back myself to get it while I'm in there, and I'm going to work hard as soon as day one comes around to try and show Tony what I've got. And what are you most I think what we spoke about already, I think that just learning, I'm a player that I, as hard as I work, I, I want to learn and grow every day and I'm going to take this opportunity to do that. I want to ask as many questions as I can while I'm in there and and I, I just kind of want to open my eyes to see where I'm at in that level. Um, so yeah, I'm. that's probably what I'm most excited about is just the learning experience that I'll get.